Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is number 20 video in Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial and today in this video I am going to show you adding RD virtualization host in remote desktop services on 2016 server so so basically first we need to understand what is RD virtualization host. RD virtualization is a basically Hyper-V host which is going to hold the Hyper-V virtual machines which is running on remote desktop services to provide in VDI solutions so We'll see how it's configured. So in last video, we have configured our uh, VDI VDI infrastructure. If you go and see the 19 video in my CD in this 2016 tutorial, so here is my infrastructure which I am going to use in this uh, demo. So we in uh, we have one uh, one domain controller which is Win 2K16 DC01, and I I have installed ActiveDirectory DNS and DHCP role on this machine, and my domain name is victorinfosol.com here you can see active directory dscp and dns role is installed you can see the local server details and the second server is my rds vdi01 which is uh, which we have promoted as a vdi solution in a last video to deploy a vdi rds virtualization based desktop so we can see here if we go on my VDI server here you can see this server acting as a Hyper-V IIS and remote desktop services because it's running the RD web access connection broker and RD virtualization host so so if you go here and if you see currently in collection we have host server one server which is RDS and VDI 01 so we have only one RD virtualization host in current scenario current infrastructure so I am going to add one more RD virtualization host here so the next server you can see here is RD RDS and VDI 02 which is RDS server also and I am going to install the RDS row, uh, RD virtualization host on this machine so so I have configured this machine is fresh I have not installed anything any role any feature on this machine so you can see here I have joined renamed this computer configure one IP address and the machine is joined in domain that's all which I have done for now on this server so let's promote this machine as a RD virtualization host so to do this we need to go here on our first VDI server which is RDS and VDI 01 if I go to local all server you can see I have added only one server so right click here and add server and you you have many way to find your server you can type the name or you can just select the operating system these things so I'm going to select the by operating system RDS and VDI 02 so going to add this now soon it will be added here and we'll see what's going on there so now you can see its server is added here and we have two two file server two all server one IIS one Hyper-V so let's go here on a collection page if you go here on a servers you can see here I uh, add RD virtualization host so I'm going to do this and once it's installed you can see here we have we will have two RD virtualization host to add this go here and click on add virtualization host and here you need to select the server which we want to promote as a RD virtualization host also if, if you require if you don't want to create this virtual switch on Hyper-V you can go ahead and don't check this and I'm going to create a one virtualization switch also so select this and click next and it will take some time to get the confirmation page and back in it will check all the prerequisites server is meeting all the prerequisites or not to install a Hyper-V role so we are good to go and now you can see uh, the RD virtualization host it's added once server and also this server may rec may be restarted so yes Hyper-V require a reboot so I'm going to check here restart remote computer if needed and click on add button and now you can see the installation is proceed is initiated and soon it will server will reboot once the Hyper-V role is enabled so now you can see the installation is begin So during the during the uh, Hyper-V role installation, it will require a few one or two reboot. 
so we have to wait for till so installation is almost 40 percent done so soon server 2 will reboot now you can see status here is restarting so if you go on server 2 you can see it's working on feature and server will soon reboot and once the server is rebooted and will back with the Hyper-V role installed so we have to wait for get the login screen again it's working on features one more reboot is going to be done on this server once it's enable all the features now you can see it's again it's stopping services and will reboot So here we the server is rebooting. If you go on VDI RDS VDI zero one, you still you can see the status is restarting. So soon this will the server is responding to this. You can go ahead and now you can see we got the login screen so let's log into rds hyphen vdi02 now it will resume the installation soon now you can see status is configuring now it will configure the like Hyper-V roles and Hyper-V virtual switch and everything so it's working on configuring the server so almost done So here you can see it succeeded and if you go now you can see we have two RD virtualization hosts which is VDI1 and VDI2 and same if you go here you can see the details in collections we have two session host uh, two uh, host for virtual machines and you can see all the virtual machines are running on same so now if you want to increase the here if you go and edit the setting we have total virtual desktop count is 2 and if you want to increase this number you can simply go here on virtual desktops and click on add virtual desktop and you can go ahead and type the number how many virtual host you want to add so let's add one there are currently two virtual desktop in this collection so let's add one and we have a desktop allocation new virtual machine where we are going to put one on we can make it zero and on rds02 we can make it one and now we can click on next you can see we have a specify the number of virtual machine add one and we are going to deploy one virtual machine and RDS hyphen VDI02 and let's create this. So we are getting the virtual storage path. This does not exist on RDS02. So we, we need to make sure the 
disk is there available on here so we need to create this because if you go here on Hyper-V settings let's verify one more thing here if you go on Hyper-V role let's cancel this if you go here on Hyper-V you can see the settings here in Hyper-V we have we have the path this is path where the virtual machine is going to create and during the uh, creation of this uh, uh, VDI collection we have specified this path here to create a virtual machine let's see here we have RDS iPhone virtual machines where we have a collection this so we need to create this folder with name one folder there with this name on RDS2 this is very important otherwise creation of deployment of virtual machine will be failed so we have created the required folder and let's try now and it will work this time so make it 0 and make it 1 here click next and a confirmation let's cre click on create and soon you will see the network transfer here so you can see adding the virtual machine on desktop collection and if you go here you're able to see the network utilization because now it's sending the data sending the image which we have stored here on our C drive RDS RDS folder image we if you want to see where we have created just refer my last video where we have created this image by exporting this and you can see now it's sending and if you go on server 2 here you can see its VDI demo folder is created and now the virtual machine image is being ex exported here so if I go here you can see the you can see the performance of NIC it's receiving the data so good to know this now you can see the network utilization is normal and if you go now on VDI2 server you can verify the same here also everything is normal and now we can go s and see what's going on on Hyper-V here we can see Hyper-V manager so now you can see machine is created with VDI-03 and now you can see it's getting started and once the machine is started it will configure the machine as per VDI's uh, template and it will uh, like uh, make the computer account in our Active Directory and join this machine in domain so everything is going to be happen automatically So this is basically basically how to add RD virtualization host in remote desktop services on 2016 server. And thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, please post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.